If you're looking to go to Treasure Islands, you can go to Twitch or Discord. I know that there's some on YouTube too, but I have not experienced them. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Funfetti, my chaotic kid core sweets Kauai Island. Today we're talking about Treasure Islands. I have made several videos in the past covering Treasure Islands extensively, how to go to them, quick guides, let's plays, 2.0, all of that. Today, I would like to talk about how they have changed. So if this is the first time that you are ever hearing about Treasure Islands or learning about them, I would suggest checking out this video over here. The things that we're covering today are some updates to Treasure Island, so I feel like go and watch the beginner tutorial and then come back here and learn about some of the changes that have happened since that video is released because things have changed. This leads me perfectly into our first point to cover. Team Tiger T is no more. And this has been for months already. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but Team Tiger T used to have lots of Treasure Islands available at all times. There was always somebody streaming Treasure Islands. Some of the Treasure Island streamers from Team Tiger T still do stream with Treasure Islands available. They are Yanny Tokyo and oh hi, I'm AJ. I'll put them on screen here and I'll put them in the description below if you're interested. They're the only two that I frequent still since the dissolving of Team Tiger T, which also brings me to my next point. Streamers that have the Dodo codes on screen are no longer off limits to me. I used to be very opposed to Treasure Islands with the Dodo codes on screen because there was a lot of other options. Now that Treasure Islands without the Dodo codes on screen are a little bit more rare, I do find myself going to more Treasure Islands that have them on screen. It works out pretty well if I follow some of the tips and tricks that I will cover a little bit later. The other point that I have that's an update, at least a personal change in my Treasure Island usage, I have discovered order bots, which are a game changer. If you've never heard of order bots before, I did make a whole video on how I use order bots, but there are many Discord servers that have order bots, including some of your favorite Twitch Treasure Island streamers. They normally have order bots available as a premium offering if you become a member or a subscriber on their channel. With all of that being said, Dodo codes on screen being more acceptable, Treasure Island streamers that don't have the Dodo code on screen becoming more rare, Team Tiger T dissolving, order bots becoming more of a thing, I have decided for myself that it is worth it to choose one Treasure Island streamer that I truly enjoy and that has a really good premium offering and actually buying a subscription to their Twitch channel. So this really goes against some things that I've said in previous Treasure Island videos. I was adamant that you should not pay for Treasure Islands. And I was like, there is no reason to. Okay, 2021 Taya. Now there is a reason to. Treasure Islands available to you whenever you want them, whenever you need them, whenever you are available to go to the Treasure Island, it is available to you versus waiting for the person to start streaming and then having it only available to you while they are streaming, it's a drawback. That being said, I've only been a member for two months. It has made a giant difference in my ability to get items and create builds very quickly, but I still managed for over a year without being a member on these channels. So the membership that I am a part of is Walty Wartooth. I really appreciate all of the extra services and premium options that are available once I did become a subscriber or a member on the channel. But I still think that you don't need to pay if it's not within your budget, it's not reasonable. You don't spend enough time really playing Animal Crossing to justify that cost or expense. I completely think that it's doable to go to Treasure Islands for free. Okay, so I don't know if I made any sense at all during that explanation, but I hope you understand where, what I'm trying to say. I just hope that I made some sense to somebody. So here are my best tips and tricks to avoid interference when going to Treasure Islands. When you find a good treasure island that nobody is on and you just have it all to yourself or like one other person, 
exploit that. Do not just go once and then be like, oh, that was nice. I had no interference. Go back and forth as many times as you possibly can stand. Normally, if I find a treasure island that I really like, I will take multiple trips and divide it up. So I will go down the left, the middle, the right in subsequent trips because treasure islands will respawn, most of them, the items. When you go and you come back, you will get the same items regenerated in the spots that you took from the last time. So if you find a good one, don't just go one time, go multiple times. If you go to a treasure island streamer, I've had it happen before when I'm on a treasure island and the streamer ends the stream, like after I've gotten to the treasure island for the first time, I don't remember the dodo code. So take a screenshot on the stream on your computer or your phone so that if they stop streaming, you can still keep going after the stream has ended until that Dota code is still valid. The next one seems so obvious, but I find it makes a huge difference. The time of day really matters, especially with Dota codes that are on screen. If you can make it to a stream in the early, early morning, the crack of dawn, you are going to be giving yourself a great advantage. If I need to do a lot of treasure island hauling, I will tend to do it in the early morning hours or if you are a night owl in the early, early morning hours, like really late at night, you know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. But that's not me, friends. I am a morning person. So if I need to go to Treasure Islands, I will do it 7, 6 or 7 a.m. If you're a nighttime person or you're a morning person, decide which extreme you want to do and do it when you know that people are going to be asleep or at work or school. <laughs> it's good to have the notifications on. I do have them on on my iPad. So if I'm watching on my iPad like Netflix or something and I see that a Treasure Island streamer has started streaming, I'll hop on there and get going on collecting. Having the notifications on for Twitch makes a big difference for just getting in when the Treasure Islands are available. This is a huge one. Using the find option or asking which islands actually have the items that you want. Looking at maps is very important nowadays with treasure islands because it doesn't matter what treasure island you go to, you are going to get interference. If you at least know that the island that you're going to has the items that you need, you're gonna save yourself so much heartache. The worst thing is when you decide randomly to go to a treasure island and you're like, I think that they'll have what I need. You get there, it's a clothing island. All of this can be really frustrating. That's 20 minutes or a half hour you could have spent on the island that you actually wanted to go to and actually received the items that you wanted for. Sometimes I'm just going to treasure island literally just to have fun, but most of the time, it's because I need a certain item. So either using a search tool to find out what island you need to go to or looking at all the different maps is definitely gonna help you with treasure islands. The next point that I wanna make is learning whether a treasure island or an order bot is the best call for you in a given moment. Sometimes order bots are gonna be much more convenient, faster, and especially if you have a bunch of different items that you need, that are very specific that you know you would need to go to multiple treasure islands for. Like you need some clothing items, you need a couple of DIYs, you need some materials, you need some fencing, you need some 2.0, some 1.0. Then it's better just to create an order on an order bot and go and spend your time wisely invested into an island that you know you're gonna get everything that you need. If you don't have Discord, I highly recommend getting it just for Treasure Islands and Order Bots. But if you're not old enough to be on Discord because you do need to be 13, or if you're just not comfortable using it, I would say find somebody who can help you with that, a parent or a friend. Another scenario in which you might want to use an Order Bot is if you need like a lot of simple panels or wheat fields or a lot of one item, but many of them. So I think that that is everything for Treasure Islands in 2022. I will have all the important links down in the description below. My favorite Treasure Island streamers as of September 2022. If you have any questions about Treasure Islands, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments. Either I will respond or somebody else will see your comment. 
and we can try to help you out down there. If this video was helpful for you, I would appreciate a like on it so that it can spread to more people who will also find this helpful. Thank you so much everybody for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.